What's up everyone, it's your boy Red 89 here bringing you another video and today it's going to be a very special one, a fun physical media one. I got a pre-order from Shout Factory that I pre-ordered months ago. I'm so excited about this one. I got the Killer Clowns from Outer Space 4K Blu-ray, but I got the whole shebang. I got the enamel pins. I got the lobby cards. I got the only thing I didn't get was the steelbook. I was going to splurge and get the steelbook. But by the time I got online at work that night at midnight when I was working, I think it was like 1230 at night, the steelbook was already gone. Like it was already gone. But like I said, this is a fun physical media video. We're going to get to dive into it because I got a lot of stuff to unpack. So hope you guys enjoy this video. So stay tuned. Let's do this. Roll it. So in terms of Killer Clowns from Outer Space, this is a horror comedy film that I hold really close to my heart because this is one that as a child and growing up as a teen and being a horror fan, me as a kid, I didn't really grab onto this film. This is a film that I really didn't understand how important this film was until I was a father. So that's what's really cool is that Killer Clowns from Outer Space is a horror film that grew on me. And became one of my top 50 horror films of all time because of being a dad and being able to show children and like kind of, you know, when you're a father and you're, you know, like you're like, oh, what should I introduce to my kids first? You know, some kids you're like, you know, you might like, oh, I don't care. I'll show them Freddy Krueger because they can handle it or I'll show them this or I'll show them The Shining or whatever, whatever. But like The Shining is very high bar, but you, you understand what I'm saying. But Killer Clowns from Outer Space is such a fun horror comedy that when you're a father, you just feel so comfortable sitting down and enjoying watching this film with, like I said, my daughters, my son. And this was, in fact, the first horror film that I ever showed my son. And this is the 4K right here. We got the 4K Blu-ray, and this is the slipcover that it came with, but there's also an alternate slipcover. So we'll show this off right here. So it's going to be really fun to unpack this because... Like I said, there's a lot to love about all the stuff that came in here. I got posters, I got enamel pins, I got lobby cards, and I got an alternate slip cover just in case I want to switch it. Here's your alternate slip cover right here, which I really do want to switch it. I kind of do want to switch it, but this is the thing that kind of, I like the back of this one better. I like the back of this one better, but I like the front of this one better. So it's kind of like, like, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, I kind of feel like, what, what do I do? Like, I like the front of this one, but I like the reverse side of this one better. So it's just kind of like, which one right now? As it stands right now, I just had the original one that I came with. And this is the 35th anniversary edition. And Shout Factory has put out uh, Killer Clowns before, but never put it out on 4K. And like I said, this has the 4K and the Blu-ray. No inside artwork or anything like that. So I'm just going to show you the discs because they both do have disc art. There's your disc art right there. But yeah, this is one that I was so excited. And it has the special features we have right here. <clears throat> we have disc one, a new 4K scan of the original camera negative. Audio commentary with the Chiodi Brothers. Disc 2 has a HD restoration 4K scan of the original camera negative. Audio commentary with the Chiodi Brothers. The making of Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Composing Clowns. Creating Clowns and Visual Effects with Gene Warren Jr., Deleted Scenes, Bloopers, and the earliest films of the Chiodi Brothers, and also Easter Eggs. So there's a lot of fun special features to dissect in this one. Like I said, I'm not sure if there's any new ones. I didn't own the Blu-ray. I know Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Shout Factory did a Blu-ray release of this. I didn't own that. This is the first ever version from Shout Factory that I've ever owned. So other people will have to speak to that. But here's a fun sticker too that came with it. And now we're going to dive into some of the really cool stuff like the enamel pins which came in this really fun box. Like look at this box right here. And it has Rudy on the back who is my favorite killer clown by the way. My son, see, my son got so obsessed with it that we had to learn the names of all the clowns. Basically, my son, once I showed him this, it was like, Dad, let's watch this every day for the next two weeks. 
that's kind of how it became. And let's learn every clown's name. Rudy, Shorty, you know, J Jumbo, all of them. We had to learn everybody's name. And yeah, in fact, Rudy is my favorite clown. My son likes Shorty. He was Shorty for Halloween one year. And then here we go. The enamel pins, which like I said, I'm not, I'm not mad at splurging on this. This was totally worth it. Oh, so beautiful. And as it stands right now, this might be my second favorite or favorite release that I've ever gotten from Shout Factory. Of course, the Friday the 13th box set is the, the other one. It's Friday the 13th box set or it's this. It's one of these, like whichever one. I don't know. Like I said, this one holds a special place in my heart because of the attachment I have with it with my kids and everything. Now let's go into the lobby cards, which came in like these very protective nice little papers we're gonna unravel them so it might take me some time but we could also talk about the movie as well like i said just so much fun diving into this and talking about these and everything and like really this is one that i don't mind splurging on like the stuff that i got for real because this is one that is very special to me like i said it's in my top five top 50 horror films of all time and this is one of those films that, like, I love the fact that I really didn't appreciate it that much until I was a father. So that's why this one also holds a very special place in my heart. Plus, it's very funny. It's got really good music. And the creative, practical effects, look at these designs of the clowns, are amazing. And these are, like, really big lobby cards. Like, as you can tell, these aren't, like, the small-time lobby cards this is really cool i'm like my son's at school right now so he's gonna freaking flip when he gets home like I said he's he's yeah he's at school right now i'm filming this video so like when he gets home he's gonna go ape shit and i know what we're watching tonight basically even though i gotta go to work tonight but we're gonna have to squeeze in some killer clowns from outer space let me put this to the side kind of organize this a little bit and then We'll bust out these posters because these bad boys I want to treat with very the utmost care. So let's be back and I'll show you these posters. Okay, so now we are back here to show off the posters. I wanted to make sure I open these very carefully. I'm so specific about my posters. And like any posters I have, I typically don't hang up unless I get frames. Like these ones will not be hung up until I get frames, which these look like they're... Not 11 by 17s, they're the next size up. They're definitely not the 27 by 40s. They look like they're the 22 by 23 or something like that. But there's your one right there. There's one poster. And then I believe the other poster is the other, uh, the other slip cover for the movie. That's what the other poster is. So let's look at this right now. <coughs> Sorry. There's your other poster right there. So I'm pretty sure my son's going to be like, well, dad, one poster's yours and one poster's mine, you know? <laughs> but yeah, oh, this is just such a fantastic release. And I'm so happy that I scooped this one up for real. Like the only thing I was kind of like sad about is I did kind of want the steelbook. I was really considering the steelbook, but then I was like, nah, you know what? Let's just go this version because, well, at, at the time when I went on, the steelbook wasn't even available anymore. <laughs> but like I said, I was still happy when, when I saw this one. I was like, oh, no, I'm scooping this up right now. Lobby cards, enamel pins, and that's one thing that you benefit when you work graveyards, too, when you work the graveyard shift is that you kind of get those early pickings of midnight once the sales go up or once stuff happens, you're like, boom, you're right there ready to purchase that stuff. So yeah, that's what I basically did. And like I said, I'm not mad. I'm not upset at this one. I, to be honest, don't even remember how much this was. I know it was over a hundred. I think this was 130, something like that. 129, 130. It was around that. It was around that price range or something like that for all this stuff. But I am, like I said, not mad fantastic lobby cards a cool sticker this sticker is going to go right here on my horror stand right here i got shining stickers hatchet halloween halloween kills jason stickers killer clowns from outer space now frankenstein this thing's going to be littered with halloween horror stickers and all kinds of stuff by the time i'm dead and gone so yeah that's what i mean it's just a fantastic release i'm so happy that i scooped this up these enamel pins that this is the first time I've ever gotten these two enamel pins or anything like this. This is the first time I've ever splurged and gotten this version 
of a Shout Factory release, you know, besides the Jason one, which was just a box set, but I didn't get it when it had the uh, limited edition posters. I just got the box set. I know when that box set, the Jason one originally came out, I had limited edition posters and stuff like that. So thanks for sticking around with me, y'all. As we unpack this bad boy, I hope you enjoyed this video and liked the video. This is an awesome physical media edition. Like I said, this is probably my second favorite thing that I've ever had in my collection. It's it's pretty tough. It's a very tough decision, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like the video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I post a video. And also share these videos. That helps out the channel. If you like these videos and you're enthusiastic and you love the channel, share the videos. We greatly appreciate that stuff. That helps out all us YouTube content creators. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.